But uh, this, of course, is what is known as a discussion forum. Yes, a discussion forum. Looks like a particularly crowded email inbox to me. It is an old slide, uh, and uh, probably this was the case uh, for at least up until 2010 or so. Uh, Blackboard salespeople used to regularly come to Mary Washington, which is where I began work in educational administration, assuring us that all the things that contributed to the connectome were, in fact, unimportant. Uh, or you could buy them uh, as accessories, but you know, why would you want to have avatars in a discussion forum? Why would you want to have SIG files? Why would you want that complexity? This is simply transactional. Well, I would say, no, it isn't. And the models of learning analytics, as defined in that first slide, having to do with monitoring, measuring, quantifying activity within a learning management system are, from the get-go, measuring the complexities of the most complex things in the universe by means of, well, two dimensions aren't even quite there. Maybe one and a half. Maybe we really are not even in flat land yet when we're looking at systems like this one. No wonder our students view curriculum as a set of discrete, isolated things that happen. Sometimes if they're really upset, they're one damn thing after another. This is a pill minder, of course. It's also what the curriculum often appears to our students as, a set of completely hermetically sealed things that can't ever go across those boundaries. If it's Tuesday at 9.30, then they've got to take the Dr. Campbell pill. Having done that, uh, I have no more claim on their attention, thoughts, hearts, minds. They have to go on to take their next pill. At the end, they uh, get a blood test, see how much the pills uh, took effect in their body, and we're done. Uh, transactional, even at a very crude level. And that, it seems to me, is what much schooling emphasizes, or uh, scaling up educational methods. This is a great content delivery system, as you see, perfectly uniform, spread out very evenly, scales beautifully, and it prepares you for the workforce. Or another view of the workforce, I would guess, would be the um, slaughterhouse. It'd be nice if it weren't that way. Notice that one cow has decided to raise his or her head, look straight at the camera, and perhaps is thinking, is that all there is? Is this what I have to do? But of course, that, uh, will not, that particular side of beef will not be doing well on the final exam. Or we build models of education that are like assembly lines. And then when we do learning analytics, we're doing the old-fashioned Taylorism, where we measure the effectiveness of the various stations. I had a colleague here who talked about how the line could not be stopped in undergraduate engineering education. Uh, it was just too big. We had to keep it all going, no stopping the assembly line. And I don't think he understood that the assembly line cuts in both directions. If there's no stopping the assembly line for the student, there's no stopping the assembly line for the instructor either. And so it becomes two machines making each other. Or at its worst, our students find much of what we think is very valuable about education and may in fact be very valuable a kind of liberal arts hazing, a general education hazing, a, a form of ritual abuse, not because we're trying to abuse them, we're not, but because the structures we have built, the structures we are now quantifying and measuring by means of learning analytics are, in fact, a kind of, um, oh, what shall we say, inscrutable set of phenomena that are concentrating merely on getting from one end to the other. Not so good. Is it any accident that when we apply building analytics to the problem of creating classrooms, we get something that looks like a Skinner box? And believe me, if you want to conduct learning analytics, the most direct way to do it, forget the learning management system, that's completely complicated for your purposes, go for this. See how many times the rat presses the lever. See how many credit hours the student will earn in order to get the pellet at the end, which is, of course, the degree. Or we go online. Students stay in their dorm rooms, copying down what teachers are writing on the blackboard. This is the old form of monkey see, monkey do, but now mediated electronically. We're not getting anywhere. We're still on that Cartesian plane. That's not where we want to be. And in fact, in our true lives as learners, that's not where we are. But holy smokes, is it easy to measure? And you end up with the University of Name here from www.ndcenter.com by custom-made fake diplomas, fake college degrees, and transcripts. 
It's too bad that in many cases even the real diplomas are fake because what happened was an entire experience of an educational system without understanding being achieved.